Welcome, everybody, to Sunny Silver Linings. On this episode, we are joined by Amy Cardell. Amy is a longtime friend of the channel. Everybody loves that smile. Uh, Amy is a founder, co-founder of Clever Ducks, a MSP located in California, and she is currently the Vice President of Strategic Workforce Relationships at CompTIA. And your host for Sunny Silver Linings, he is the founder and CEO of IT by Design, Mr. Sonny Kayla. Thank you, Todd and Amy. Welcome to our Sunny's Silver Lining episode. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be with you. All right, Amy, we start every episode with Sonny's question. So, Sonny, why don't you go ahead and hit Amy with your question for this episode? Yeah, so our question today, Amy, for you is what MSBs should be doing today in terms of their talent strategy to be successful tomorrow? I appreciate the question. It's right in my wheelhouse. Talent development is has been my passion for over 20 years in the tech space. And now at CompTIA, it's my role. I got bit by the bug and now work on that on a national level. So some things we can't control right now. The pandemic is like a, a terrible storm that we have no control over in some ways. But we can control certain things. And learning and talent development is one of those. I come from a long line of teachers. And uh, my great-grandmother used to say, education is something no one can take from you. And I know that's true. And that gift of education is something you can give your team, something you can tell people about who are affected by the pandemic, who may never work for you, but might join the industry because they are now looking for new careers. And it's something you should consider doing for yourself. Absolutely. That's a great point. And even here at IT by Design, uh, we have been investing more into learning and development because that's the only way. That's the only way. Uh, this is, that's the only way to develop, cultivate your talent. And byproduct of uh, anything that you do with training and development is employee engagement, employee satisfaction, your attention goes up because people do feel that care, that you care about their career progression planning. I think you make a good point. There's very few times that people invest in others. And if you do that as an employer, you endear yourself in a very deep way. And there's a reciprocity there that leads to retention. Yeah. And is there any specific area in terms of development that CompTIA is focusing on? Uh, Any particular technology that you suggest to MSVs? So what we see as the number one job occupation before the pandemic, and we've done some surveying and looking at data continuing through, and of course, the IT support generalist is the unsung hero of the pandemic. We kept a lot of people working. You know, we made a six-foot economy possible. We brought people online that weren't online and kept people supported securely. That message is it kind of lost. There's so many heroes in this pandemic. Um, we don't need to claim credit, but I think a lot of us know the IT support generalist is a huge hero. And that's really the sweet spot of CompTIA certification pathways. And we have a lot of tools around that and an academy to train folks with, with scholarships. You know, Amy, I, I, I recently read a, a research paper from CompTIA that showed that the, the demand for IT professionals stayed strong even through this pandemic. You know, how is the pandemic impacting where MSP should look and recruit talent from? Well, I think a lot of folks weren't able to continue working digitally. If you think about hospitality, if you think about restaurants, if you think about fitness, a lot of those services were deeply affected. And I think pandemic-proof careers will be something people think about in the future because this was such an impactful event. And of course, those verticals have all the soft skills we really desperately need in our field. Absolutely. And, you know, as you know, you you can teach somebody the technical skills, but those soft skills, those are, those are valuable. And that's those industries you, you mentioned definitely have that high touch. So would you agree on that? You know, you've done a lot of hiring, you know, IT by design over 500 employees today. What, what are some of the skills you look for in uh, potential employees, you know, separate from uh, the, the technical roles? Yeah, so uh, let, me, uh, let me add my perspective in terms of uh, sourcing or industries that you go after. So what is, what is working for IT by design to fill our positions here? It's the retail uh, vertical to 
rental cars, anything with travel and tourism, depending on what position you're trying to fill. If I'm looking for anything in marketing, uh, public relations, communication firms, where they were focused on travel and tourism, like cruise lines, airlines, everything in terms of travel and tourism, those public relations firms, uh, they had to downsize and there is so much talent out there in terms of uh, marketing communication. If I'm looking for office manager or something in terms of customer success, uh, then again, I go to, so for example, uh, all these hotel chains where their staff is well trained on customer service. Uh, so for a customer success uh, manager, uh, that's a great vertical to go after. Uh, when you're searching for customer success people, if we, if you're looking for office manager, rental cars, to even, I mean, customer success uh, positions can be filled from these rental car uh, related uh, talent uh, um, because they have great customer, uh, customer service programs. And in terms of, of uh, traits, uh, critical thinking, culture alignment, you cannot teach someone how to be a good human being as long as they do believe in ideal team player values that we talk about, Todd, always. Humble, hungry, smart. Someone, you know, our core values are happy, being humble, being accountable, being passionate, being positive, and being a good community member, good team member. So that is the number one thing. And then it's more Patrick Lancioni's uh, humble, hungry, smart. And as long as that foundation is there, Teaching someone technical uh, technic- technology, solution stack, tool set, it's not, it's not a hard thing to do. I absolutely echo that. The, um, I'll give you a link to the five traits of a technologist by uh, Charles Eaton on our team. And uh, those, those, those things you rattled off, we just do it kind of in a different way. And I think um, the key thing is to remember that technology is about humans, not hardware. And... Um, we, like you said, Sunny, we can train folks on the technical side. Um, at CompTIA, we have a foundation and we have long had, um, we've trained over 3,000 people in an eight week boot camp for entry level help desk jobs. And we've had a high 80% retention rate. Um, we screen very carefully. We, we have a very tra- scheduled um, program for training. If you miss one day, you're out of the boot camp. Um, it sounds too good to be true to people because we paid for it, but it was really our test kitchen to prove that this model works. Um, and now we're expanding with the CompTIA Career Academy. And I'll put a link in that as well. We have scholarships now for that, but we had such demand for people to take that. Um, it's online. Uh, and uh, we, we also are offering the opportunity for people to pay for that because we couldn't accommodate the full demand without that participation. So we can you know, if you have a relative, they'll be looking to you or a friend, kid or something that says, how do I get into tech? Um, I really like those shorter task-based programs to get you to an industry recognized certification, A+, help you get placed in a job. And they may come work for you as an MSP owner, they may not, but you're helping someone get into a pandemic-proof career and helping fill the funnel for the talent pipeline in tech. And continuing, you know, just giving value to you, our viewers, you know, I'm also going to link to our hiring best practices webinar that Sunny and I did. Uh, It's based on the top grading hiring methodology, uh, where we go through everything from the screening questions to the actual interviewing questions to the executive review. And we're even going to give away a sample job scorecard, a connector list form and the career history form. So that'll be linked in the uh, description down below. So Amy, you know, we we touched, touched on sourcing. Um, can you talk about the, the five core traits of a technologist? What are they, the key five? Well, having hired many technology professionals and unfortunately having to terminate a few along the way, um, you know, it's always for soft skills, not for hard skills that someone's let go. So I really want to emphasize the importance of those. And one of the traits is that technology is about humans, not hardware. I think that's a key point that I already made. Um, a technologist really sees the constructive context and what problem are we trying to solve? A technologist also has a general curiosity and loves solving problems and thinks about strategy first. That's a key point. How do we plan and then make a plan to succeed? And finally, it's back to that ideal team player, really respect, cooperation, collaboration, 
inspiration. Those are the other traits we always look for. Sonny, what are some of the, the traits, you know, you, you touched on the ideal team player uh, before. Any, any other traits that you look for when you're hiring technical folks? Yeah, so from the culture alignment perspective, uh, that's what we look for. And when, uh, so other, from skills and competencies perspective, uh, is the um, majority of the IT professionals you're going to find, they will know probably one technology, two technologies. Uh, but in order for us to make them MSP customers ready, you need to, you know, so you need to teach them the tool set and other things that uh, from solution stack, it could be backup technologies, it could be Office 365, uh, other things. So that's, if we do find a candidate, uh, more uh, technologies, uh, that's what we prefer. Uh, common sense, right? Common sense, someone having emotional maturity, emotional intelligence. That's another thing that you cannot teach people. And one, you know, one way to look at this would be, so when you buy a toy, and if someone can think the toy without a battery, toy with a battery, and if you can have a toy with, with battery that they're going to think through, at least they're going to ask right questions, no one have all the answers. But if a technologist knows how to ask right questions, then they know, they, you know how to find answers. They can be more resourceful, and that that's kind of connected with that com uh, that common sense and emotional maturity. And that's you know we pay a lot of uh, attention to that because that leads to critical thinking, and critical thinking is absolutely required to solve problems. And, and Amy, one more question here. Um, you know, especially in these pandemic times where we may be targeting folks that don't come from the traditional tech background. When we do find someone who's got those just outstanding people skills, those soft skills, what are some of the programs CompTIA has available to, you know, teach that baseline that the MSPs can take advantage of? You know, it's true. I've hired before from uh, coffee shops, baristas. I've hired from auto parts stores, someone who had exceptional customer service skills and then put them through training. And CompTIA has CompTIA tech online now. So there's an ability to enroll and take our classes either with scholarship uh, if it's required or without. We also have self-study options and we have uh, self-paced learning. You can also turn to your regional workforce boards. We've been doing a lot of work with the Department of Labor federally and at different states to put in cohorts for unemployed to train folks. We work with community colleges on the same thing. So really, um, Look in your community to see what's available. Um, it may well be paid for with unemployment. So we'd love to encourage people to get into tech, to look for CompTIA products. I'll give you some links to share. Perfect. And, and Sonny, I know uh, here at IT by Design, you know, we hire a lot of people and we run them through a boot camp. What do you think are some of the successful characteristics of a training boot camp program? Uh, something that covers soft skills. Uh, so once you bring someone in, uh, orientation uh, to, I mean, that's where the experience starts for a new employee. And you want to make sure that you have a very solid uh, onboarding program and that onboarding training, because no one, you're not going to find technology people or non-technology people where they know MSP tool set, MSP technologies, or the, the way MSP world works. So having Having a, you know, designing your program where not only you put them in ConnectWise University, but you, you have some kind of playbook uh, that you have them go through the MSP way of delivering service. Uh, that is essential. That's what made us so successful. Once we uh, kind of uh, evolved our MSP way of del delivering service program, that's what's, you know, then you can bring in anyone out there, exchange server person to desktop support person to uh, firewall person, and then you can teach them multiple technologies. And the best part is how MSP institution works. And that, 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 that's what makes a training program very successful. Thanks for sharing that. You know, our certifications are based on job roles and tasks. And if we can teach folks that, they can do the job. I totally agree. Wow, what a fantastic episode. This might even just be one of my favorites so far. I, you know, I come from a talent background and uh, Sonny's very passionate about it. Uh, 
you kind of make a dangerous duo out there on the road when we start talking talent. So, and Amy, I know you have a very strong passion for it too. Yeah. So if folks want to find out more about CompTIA or reach out to you, uh, what's the best way to uh, get started there? Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. You'll find me there. Personally, it's the easiest way to connect probably. And um, for more resources at CompTIA, it's comptia.org and I'll give you those links. Uh, Sonny, why don't you uh, wrap us up today? Yeah, Amy, thank you for coming to our uh, Sunny's Silver Lining today. And thank you so much. What you did for us in India when you were mentoring uh, ITBD ladies in our India office in uh, Noida, and they still remember you, and you have made a huge impact on those girls. And thank you so much for doing that. And I know how passionate you are to develop other people, how to, I mean, adding value to other people. And just from that trip, I remember they still talk about you there, that they just felt so great that you inspired them and they still look up to you, uh, follow you on social media. And thank you for doing this uh, today for our ITBD community internal and our partner community. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I'm so glad we traveled while we could. Going to India to see your office in Noida was a real highlight of my uh, IT career and meeting your ladies was special too. So um, I hope we get to do it again. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, viewers, for taking time out of your busy day to view this episode. We hope you enjoy it. Please be sure to like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. 